I'm your host, Ricky Saias. Your City in Five is on the road. We're here at the El Paso Zoo. We're gonna tell you about a unique partnership between the zoo and animal services that allows you to adopt a cat here at the zoo. But first, the number of COVID-19 infections has dramatically dropped. Public health leaders say it's because more people are getting vaccinated. Every week, El Paso County is getting closer to reaching herd immunity. Free vaccines remain available to everyone 12 and older. The city and county, along with other health care providers, continue to provide the vaccine at pop-up locations and other designated areas. Vaccination sites are posted on epcovidvaccine.com. After being closed for more than 14 months, the El Paso Museum of Archaeology is set to reopen on June 24th. It will be open with limited hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thursday through Saturday. Visitors can see prehistoric exhibits of El Paso and the Southwest and enjoy nature walks on trails outside of the museum. The Museum of Archaeology is located in northeast El Paso, just off of Trans Mountain Road near the base of the Franklin Mountains. You can now visit the public library and stick around to read a book or just hang out. Seats and lounging couches have been put back at open branches and the book return bins are now open every day. Computer labs remain closed, but that's because new software is being added. Full library services are expected to resume in the coming weeks. Some good news for homeowners. City leaders presented a preliminary 2022 fiscal year budget to city council that does not include a tax rate increase and decreases city taxes for seniors and people with disabilities. Leaders say the proposal is possible because of strong financial management practices that include refinancing debt, sales tax growth, and carefully restoring city services that were shut down by the pandemic. Again, this is only a preliminary budget. Discussions will continue throughout the summer. The next budget discussion is set for June 22nd. Council is expected to vote on the city's proposed decreases for seniors and people with disabilities at that time. Visit ElPasoTexas.gov for more information. If you recycle, the Environmental Services Department is asking you to become a black belt in recycling. It's an effort to stop unrecyclable material from getting into these blue bins. Contamination in recycling bins has become a major problem and it's costing the city hundreds of thousands of dollars. Recycling bins get contaminated when items that cannot be recycled, like pizza boxes, food or trash, are put in the bin. If that happens, the entire bin can be recycled and it ends up in the landfill. The national contamination rate average is 25%. El Paso sits at 32%. It takes up space in the landfill and instead of this materi recyclable material taking up another life coming back and um, getting repurposed, having a second life, it's sitting in the landfill forever. The recycling challenge is simple and you can earn some prizes. Take an online course, complete a quiz and register for an unannounced review of items in your blue bin. Following this challenge will get you to yellow, green and the highly coveted black belt status. Visit ElPasoTexas.gov slash recycle for more details. There's cats at the zoo. Yes, I know there's tigers, lions and jaguars, but this pretty little cat is also available for adoption here at the zoo. And I ain't kitten. Okay, I know that was clawful. Your city in five media specialist Jose Solis shows us the felines at the zoo that you can take home. Fuzzy's more of I'm gonna chill out cat. I'm beyond amazed and I think it's super cool that the zoo opened the doors to to the you know animal shelter or whatnot to let people know and get acquainted with the animals before they go home. This is very much a unique adoption center because it's the first domestic adoption center inside a zoo. First in the nation, um, it's going to give us an opportunity to not only partner with the El Paso Zoo, but really uh, reach a whole other crowd. Residents that we know love animals because they're already visiting the zoo. I'm quicker than you. If you should decide to adopt someone, you make the decision, they'll give you a ticket basically, and then when you get to the parking lot, or when you're done with your zoo visit, they'll deliver the cat to your car actually. It's super cool, the colors, and they have like little chairs so you can kind of lounge, and the kid is running around. It doesn't look like an adoption center, it looks like an exhibit. But then at the same time, so you get to like kind of like play with him and then take him home. This is going to be a center that is not only an adoption center, it's an education center. Um, they're going to be able to be hands on, have a hands on encounter. Are you ready for a break? The Cat Adoption Center is going to be open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, mirroring the zoo hours. In the coming months, we'll have a, a second phase opening where we'll basically be open the same time as the El Paso Zoo. If you're interested in adopting, our staff will make sure they find the right cat or kitten for you. That was a perfect story, don't you think, Kitty? Thank you, Jose, for putting together that video. The Cat Adoption Center is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.
three, two, one, go. Yeah, look at that. The Oasis Water Park at the Beast Urban Park is officially open for summer. Besides having the area's only surf machine, the water park is already making a splash. I think you should really come, like, come here and take your kids because it's, it can get really hot during the summer and I think they'll enjoy it here with the cold water. Uh, it is so fun and I, and I like that it has so uh, and I like that it has a surfing machine. I want to invite everybody to come check it out for your own and be able to see how amazing it is. The Oasis is the second water park to open in El Paso. Visit epwaterparks.com for hours and ticket price information. All you yoga lovers, take a deep breath. Now exhale. Live Active El Paso is bending over backwards to celebrate International Yoga Day with a free yoga session at 8 a.m. on Sunday, June 8th at Cleveland Square Park. You don't have to be a poser to attend, it's open to everyone. Shanti Yoga and Frida Yoga are leading the event that includes a meditation class. Visit Live Active El Paso on Facebook or Instagram for more information. Juneteenth is now an official city holiday. All city administrative offices will be closed on Friday, June 18th, in honor of the holiday that is celebrated on June 19th. City Council voted to add the day as a recognized city holiday. Juneteenth, by the way, commemorates the day Texas slaves learned of the Emancipation Proclamation two and a half years after it was signed by President Abraham Lincoln. I don't know about you, but it's time for a catnap. Don't you think so, Kitty? We're going to go ahead and wrap up this edition of Your City in Five. For Nigel Sherman, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in Five.